What's up guys, I'm Justin, and today I'm going to teach you how to make clean looking UI in Unity. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go into your hierarchy in Unity, right click, and then you go to UI, Canvas. Alright, and this will create a canvas. Now, right click on the canvas, UI, Image. Okay, so here's UI. Here's your UI. Put it anywhere you want. Doesn't matter. Um, and then you're going to find this image in the description, this sprite. Um, I linked it in the description. Just download it. Put it into Unity. Okay, so now that you have your image downloaded, you go up to um, the inspector. You click on the image. Go into Inspector, and here in Texture Type, you will see Default. You don't want Default, so you go click on the button and hit Sprite 2D and UI. And then you go to Sprite Editor, and then you see these dots around the edges. You bring the dots to the center, or you could just go down to the Sprite thing down here and do... 40, 40, hit apply. Okay, so now the image is able to scale to your image. So you click on the canvas image, like the UI you want, go to source image over here, and you drag and drop the rounded square rectangle image. You drag and drop it to the source image, and then you will see um, your UI will have rounded corners. And now, let's say um, you want shadows on your UI to make it look almost 3D. So you go up to your canvas image, you right click on the image, duplicate it. Now you have image 1, and then you bring the original image down to image 1. Alright. Now to on image one, the duplicate one, go to color, and then this could be any color, but um, just bring it down like darker than the original right there. All right, and now you bring your um original image, and you bring it up a little bit, and now you see there is a small little shadow. Alright, now let's say, let's add some text. Right click the image, UI, text. Alright, now we got our text. You bring the anchor points um, to the uh, spread out one. That makes it so it's um, filling the whole page. Or you can just make it as small as you want. I don't really mind, or I don't. It doesn't matter. Um, and you op you open it open this by holding Alt. It shows all these settings. All right. Now font. I mean font size. Font. Let's do that one. All right. All right. So there is the UI. Now let's say let's add a button. Right click image one, button, and boom, you've already got a button. And let's say you want a rounded button, like the um, like the UI. So you right click image, UI, and then you hit image. Now you do the exact same thing before. I'm going to make this one red. So just add the image drag and drop the rounded rectangle image All right, now just size it to whatever you want I'll do that and then bring it to wherever you want duplicate it put the original image under image 1 and now on image like the normal image make it a bit darker actually no you do the duplicate image, the one on top, 
you make that one a little darker. Then you bring original image up. And there you go. You've got your button. You can add text it text to it if you want. UI text. Um click me. Sure, why not? 30. All right. And that is how you make clean looking UI in Unity. Um, of course, you can change whatever you want. Doesn't really matter. But here I'll ma maximize the thing. Oh, first, go up to Canvas. Click on it. You hit, you go to the canvas scaler thing. You don't want constant pixel size. You go down to um, scale with screen size. And now that will make it um, bigger or smaller depending on what size your um, computer is that you're working on. But um, then you can just um, scale everything to whatever you want. But doing this will um, make it so whenever people play your game on different devices or different screen sizes, the UI won't be all wonky, it won't be all small or big or whatever. But here I'm going to hit play, and here we go. Here's the UI. Oh, and for the bit button the image on the bottom you like the original image you hit add component and then button and there you go you got your button so that's all for today i hope you understand how to make clean looking rounded ui and drop a like on this video if you thought it was helpful and subscribe if you're new see ya if you would like a part two for this video um where I can show you how to animate the button, um, comment down below, um, we want a part two, or uh, let's animate, and then I'll make it.